Hi everyone, it's The English Simmer here, and back in January now, I asked you lot for your personal recommendations for save files in The Sims 4. This is basically when a creator uploads a save and they customize it for a completely different experience within the game. But one in particular that I have not stopped playing in since I downloaded it, just because I think it's a sick idea, is the 10 years of base game save file by the one and only Charlie pancakes. I just think this is such a cool concept. It takes base game and all those townies that we know in both Oasis Springs and Willow Creek expands it into Newcrest as well and it's their lives 10 years on, who they've moved on with, all of their children and they have super interpersonal relationships with one another. It just makes the world genuinely feel so much more alive and it has all this different lore. I'm gonna link like the videos that I've done on it, like maybe up here in a card or something, if those still exist on YouTube. But with the release of Growing Together, I had this idea back when it was announced that I wanted to do a Pancakes family reunion because in my personal opinion, this is one of the messiest families that we have in this save file. So thank you, Charlie, for bringing the drama. I'm gonna link the save file down below if you wanna check it out, but let's get into this. We have the one and only Bobbit here, originally, his teenage daughter, Alessia, was actually living with her mum, Eliza Pancakes, and her new man, Malcolm Langrab. But purely for this video, because I kind of want to bring those two into it as well, and Alessia obviously has the option to invite them over. If Bob tries to invite either of them over, they absolutely will not come. They have awful compatibility, and they also just have dreadful relationships. So let's scroll. My finger aches, man. Why the heck does Growing Together give you such a workout? Especially the Symology panel. Like, we need a redo, besties. We are not going to go for a baby shower. Although, I do absolutely love that anyone can host a baby shower. I really am glad that there's no restriction on it, because obviously with the introduction of, like, science babies, you never really know when you're gonna have a kid. But that's not what we're focusing on in this video. In this video, we're focusing on a family reunion. I haven't played one of these events yet. I was saving it because I knew I wanted to do it with this family in particular. I get the whole fam. <laughs> oh my god. It's times like these when I realize I am such a millennial and it just like throws me right back into it. Ugh. With a guest list consisting of both the family tree and close family friends, so it's not only the family tree, which is quite nice, take this time to talk about family, take photos, or share a meal with those closest to you. Successful family reunions reward you with various photo collage frames to commemorate the occasion. Oh, so that's why it's a reward. It's not like, hey, post any old photo in here. I'm guessing the event actually has you take photos with people. That makes more sense. We're gonna have these three as the hosts, honestly, just because it allows me to add more guests. You used to be my Romeo, Romeo. If we actually go to the brand new family tab over here, this is delightful. Romeo is our cousin. I'm gonna focus on like our immediate family first. So these are Bob's parents. Then we have his sister and Elliot is actually his uncle. I don't know why his auntie-in-law isn't on this list. Maybe it's just because she's like an in-law. He wasn't actually, didn't have any relationship with Brianna, so I had to add this and I also had to up her kid's friendship with Bob. So she has three kids. She has Eric, Emma, and Elena. Again, her husband actually isn't listed in family, which I kind of wish it was. It's a bit annoying that in-laws, like one, you can't get family dynamics with them because technically they're like still family and if anything you know you're gonna have some difficult family dynamics going on there. Oh Liz is listed here actually so maybe we should just try and invite them through here. Unfortunately Eliza isn't actually listed here which is so annoying. I so wish that like 
ex-wife was also listed as family, especially considering she's obviously connected to our son and daughter because she is their mother. So maybe we will invite our new lady, Nina Caliente, and her two kids, Marina and Diego, as well. Look at the little icon, all these little family members gathered around each other. I have a feeling this is going to be very, very traumatic for Eliza, considering this house, I'm fairly sure her and Bob had like separate houses at one point, but on the same lot. However, there was actually a fire and that's the fire that killed Iggy. And it doesn't even look like it was done from cooking. It looks as if this toilet had like an upgrade on it, even though that's technically not base game, it's eco lifestyle. I feel like we should maybe get some plates ready. So why don't we have Bob? Actually, it is freezing. I wish it was kind of summer. I don't know why, but I feel like family reunions would always be better in summer. Cook a gourmet meal, Bob. Hmm, you aren't very good. Let's go for a caprese salad. I don't even know if that's actually how you pronounce that. That's how I personally pronounce it. Oh yeah, I also added compatibility onto these lot. I added some topics that they like and interests, but they all have awful compatibility with Bob minus Alessia. They actually have really good compatibility. And I think it's because Bob is like a gloomy sim and just like a lot of them don't like gloomy sims. RIP Iggy. Iggy had good compatibility with his dad. Emotional Emotional whiplash. Oh, I heard that you found someone new. How did you trick them into thinking you're worth loving? Eliza, absolutely unnecessary behavior. What the hell? That is a red flag. That gave me the ick. If I hadn't have divorced you already, I absolutely would now. Oh, Bob's all scrubbed up. Look at him in his little suit. Likes polished style. Uh, we're gonna say no. That is not very Bob pancakes of you, sir. So once I think the party is in full throttle, uh, which honestly, now thinking about it, probably gonna be really bad. This house isn't the biggest. I have a feeling that people are gonna head on into this house, which I don't know if the, <gasps> we can, okay, lock, for everyone. I don't want anyone getting trapped like in this house and using the bathrooms and stuff. Let's start this event. Oh, we don't have a bar. I don't know where we're gonna put one either, honestly. I know, we're just unrealistic standards, but what can I say? We're just gonna put it there for now because we'll change this into a bar and then we'll put the counters back in, actually. Can I just backspace those? And then we'll just go bada bing bada boom got ourselves a bar for the evening makeshift bar did i not set it to a gold event cannot plant more than one gold event on a day is this because of prom i thought this was fixed we're not going to prom why can we not plan a gold event screw it we're moving it to sunday all right take two i feel like i say that so frequently when i'm recording social things in the sims 4 i don't know why but parties are just something that my brain cannot get used to in this game, which is so weird because we have so many different events, but every time I go to host one, it feels like the game just doesn't want me to. Take photos, thank a guest for coming, talk about family, and call to a meal, which speaking of call, how about we try and get our mother over here? Lol, Eliza Pancakes, where you at? Oh my god. These Becky and changing icons are so out to get me. I can never find anything anymore. It's ridiculous. Discuss family lineage. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, apparently he is in here, which is absolutely not the truth, Ellen. He is stuck out here. Barely any of our family. Oh, here they go. They're all rolling in now. Eliza Langrab will be right over. Delicious. This is the drama that we needed. Oh, the little 
Toddler! Eric looks so uh, feckin' cute. Bob, I think. Aw, Bob and Nina being all sweet in the kitchen. We're actually gonna have our cheeky little first kiss. Uh, hopefully in just like the privacy of these two. Yeah, everyone else is just outside. That's absolutely fine. Maybe I should have waited till Eliza was here. Right, we actually need to start making a move on these. Discuss family lineage and can we thank him for coming? Where is it? Compliments maybe? Nope, support facial hair. Affection? No. Small talk? Thank for coming? Is it here? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. I'm still getting used to the new social menu. It's gonna take a while. I'll get there. Don't worry. It's just obviously it's very, very different. Oh, we need to talk about family like four times. Discuss future family plans. Apparently, we're not getting on very well with Elliot. What is our... Oh, they have awful compatibility. No bloody wonder that's not going down too well. Emma said, I'm bored of this conversation. I don't want to talk about our family family anymore. Discuss importance of family. Where's Amy chilling with her sister? Take photos. Run photography interactions such as take selfie. Yeah, but you know what would be great if selfies actually worked? You also can't take selfies with like people who are different ages than your sim, so they like have to be an ad- Why does this feel like a Pokemon battle? <laughs> <laughs> That's well cute. I mean, again, I still wish that you could zoom out on selfies, but I will take it. And of course we have the fun little glitch where taking photos actually slows down my game a little bit. How about you take photo with, we'll get some of the kids. Is Eliza actually here? Did she even bother showing up? She was like, absolutely not. I don't wanna go anywhere near this situation. She actually did she said I'll be right over and then didn't even show up. That's so rude when your teenage daughter asks you to. Like technically she is part of the fam. We're actually gonna open this up so we can invite everyone over to our salad. Why are we all sat around watching TV? You've got the family over. These are so cute. Stop it. They're so close to the camera though. It's because of their short little arms. So kids obviously can't like hold it like any further away. Damn, the like whatever eight hours that we had is really flying. That is going so, so fast. Bob, you can take some photos with the one and only Romeo, your bestie. Honestly, I think it's so cute when Sims have like really, really big families. I think it comes from like personally coming from a really, really big family. Like I have so, so many cousins and like we are all like really close, even though we don't live super close together. So it's like adorable when I see like Bob being really good friends with his cousin. Cause I personally feel like I don't go like that big when it comes to the families that I create in the, the game. Just because for let's plays and things like that, I feel like it kind of takes the shine off like your main family and it kind of is too much all at once. So I really like focusing on like smaller details, but like obviously going really intricate with those details. So sometimes I definitely get overwhelmed for sure. So this feels like a nice little change. It feels like a nice little switch up from the way that I usually play the game. I guess we should probably take some like portrait photos as well. Oh, beautiful. Bob, that's very dramatic of you. Only getting in half of your face. This feels like a 2013 face reveal. I say that as if Minecrafters still aren't out here doing face reveals. They used to be a massive thing within the uh, Sims community. Angela Pancakes did the thing. <laughs> Oh, I've been waiting to make that joke. Oh, heck yeah, get it, you two. I kind of want to do this as this one as well. Bob is serving. Hopefully these actually look really, really cute when they're actually in the frames. Okay, so we took the 20 photos and now we need to share photos. I really wish that those sort of things like popped up straight away on like the first little pie chart that we have because it's so annoying to like try 
like what is this even gonna be? Small talk? Apparently they really love doing small talk at family reunions, man. I guess it's been a little while since we caught up with our sister, so we could probably share some photos with her as well. She looks sick. I'm absolutely loving this outfit, Brianna. You could step on me and I would say thank you, even in those base game boots. Oh, look at little Romeo doing the cleaning for us. What the heck? All right, now we need to hug people. I know exactly where that is. I wonder if hug lovingly from like parenthood counts towards that. Hug lovingly did actually work, which is nice. Boom, we got gold. Oh, oh, you're okay. Shigeru, maybe we need to take a break from drinking now. Romeo is genuinely just happy to be here. He's just like vibing. He's watching everyone else get along with each other. He's loving it. Honestly, this is far too wholesome. I was really out here believing that there was gonna be drama, all the tea was gonna be spilt. Absolutely fucking nothing. The biggest amount of drama that's happened is Bob actually giving him like a silly gift. Eliza, you've ruined my my night. She's not even here and I'm still blaming her. How do I give her this power? This is well cute though. Like the kids and the teenagers all just like politely sat at the kitchen table just like chatting with one another. They've literally been chatting for hours as well. Never mind, Alessia is gonna go ruining it by watching TV. Best reunion ever. It would have been better if there was a little bit of drama. This was far too wholesome for my liking. As a reward for achieving a gold level family reunion, the following items have been added to the host family's inventory. Hodgepodge photo collage frames, threes company, fours a crowd, and fours still a crowd. I'm guessing if you get bronze, you only get one of them. If you get silver, you get the next one up, the fours a crowd, a gold, you get all three of them. I'm gonna assume that that's how it works. I don't know if that is actually the case. Let me uh, put my walls up so uh, we can kind of get these put up. Yeah, let's do two, one here. Then let's go a big one behind the TV. And then we'll go for one in the hallway. The classic photos of families all the way up the stairs. If you know, you know. I'm gonna have like Bob and his mum. Why can this not go in the big one? Is it because, you serious? Cause we took them all. I don't have a camera. How was I meant to know that we'd have to do that? Right, let's put that one in there. <laughs> the boys. That's such a sick photo. This is actually really cute. Not gonna lie, the first time that I saw these, I was like, what is the point? Like, I feel you can make these yourself, which don't get me wrong, I want the photo bomb one. Maybe move that to that one and then have this one be uh, these three. I kind of love the blurriness of this as well. But yeah, you can definitely still do this yourself. Like, you can just put these onto a wall, add a frame, let's go black, and then like if you had three of those lined up, like it would practically be this. It doesn't really make anything feel different. I honestly still would really like to see the photography update that I've talked about recently. I would definitely suggest if you are doing this as an event, taking more photos than the 20 or do this a couple of like times over. Also, I would definitely suggest having a better camera. I'm not too sure what size this is. I don't know if it's a large or a medium photo, but if you get this one, you're not gonna be able to put your smaller ones in there. But there we go. I'm honestly super disappointed that Eliza and Malcolm didn't show up. I think that could have been so fun if that was the case. I truly think that Eliza would have probably gone off on both Bob and Nina. But I'm really glad that I chose to explore this new event in this way, especially with like such a big family. Like I said, I will actually link down below the 10 years later save file by the one and only Charlie Pancakes because I think it's just so much fun. If you're looking for a switch up in your Sims game, especially to test out growing together because you already have that like predetermined stories. You just kind of have to go in, add the new likes and dislikes and family dynamics if you want to, or you can just get them through gameplay. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.